You know, I looked right at the eclipse and I was fine. No, sorry. And I was fine. I can see the same way that I did before. I kid, I kid. But there is a serious takeaway from today. Kind of mind blowing to me, certainly more so than the eclipse itself. You know, I see all these people online snarking about it. And I say, let's black them out. I saw cause for hope. I get the jokes about the eclipse being a metaphor for how we're all being plunged into darkness and needing rose-colored glasses and all the Trumpy this and Biden that. Nah, it's all noise. I see something else. You know what I saw? People cared. I saw complete strangers offering ugly glasses to people all over my hometown. I saw all these cautions online about why looking at an eclipse is way more dangerous than just staring at the sun that you might do on any other day, which I didn't know, by the way. People randomly stopping next to other people that that they don't know and talking about it. In New York City, a city constantly told to be on edge, be on the lookout for crime. Though most categories are trending down, including subway crime. Wait, what? No, no, no. It's like Thunderdome in New York City. I just saw it on the show before you. It's it's terrible. I know it sells. Fear always does. Darkness sells. I sold a lot of really ugly eyewear today. But even when cloudy skies block the main attraction, I saw a much brighter reality all around me and us, as we saw all over the country vis-a-vis the reactions online. As the good doctor, Martin Luther King Jr. wrote, apropos of the eclipse, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And there is light in us still as a collective. We saw it today. People were acting out of what? Regular old, decent, common concern. We were all under the same sun and concerned about the same thing watching without getting burned. And that same interconnectedness exists elsewhere. For instance, almost all Americans care about the southern border, about the cost and utility of college these days, about crime. Now, we can disagree and do about who caused the concerns and what needs to be done and who should do it. We can disagree about all of that vehemently. But if we just do what we did today, focus on the common concern, what would that do? That would reverse our current dynamic. It would put the pressure back on those in power to work on our common interests instead of only being interested in what? Dividing us. That's all they're doing because it works to their advantage. We would be on a much better track if we just acted in our politics as we did today. This is not a fairy tale. This is not foolish optimism. This is not Pollyannish. It is what we saw today. The people seeing others without glasses and offering them. Here you go, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. I ordered one and they gave me five, here you go. Standing with strangers, looking up. The metaphor was way more mesmerizing to me than the eclipse. People are so much more than our poison party politics. Remember that. Now. They don't want you to know that. They don't want us to care about each other. They don't want us to talk to each other. They want anyone who questions the established norms to be demonized. It's dangerous. But that is about them and what works for them, not us. We are better than that. And we saw it today. Now, over the weekend, I was watching this game play out. And there's an interesting common pinata out there, the independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. The media is increasingly coming at Kennedy because they are increasingly realizing because of what they're hearing from their buddies in the parties that Kennedy will probably determine the outcome of this election if he gets on the ballots. I don't know that he can win, but he can certainly affect the outcome. So they are putting him in cleanup mode constantly. And I have him on tonight to do that in part. But I want to talk to him about the bigger dynamic. 
because you can gotcha all three of these guys all day long, okay? But is that in the best interest of the people? Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.